beautiful shot there. You know, the ancient rules regarding who inherits Britain's throne may soon get a modern update that could dramatically affect the lives of Prince William's future children. CBS News correspondent Charlie Daggett outside Buckingham Palace. He's got that story for us this morning. Charlie, good to see you. Good to see you, Chris. You know, it may seem crazy talking about a baby that isn't even born yet, but this is a decision that's going to have an impact in this house, in the Houses of Parliament, and in governments in 16 countries around the globe. When two young people fall in love and have a little marriage ceremony, it's only natural for talk to turn to the pitter-patter of tiny feet. But when those feet are walking in the footsteps of kings and queens, a bundle of joy could trigger a constitutional crisis. The way things stand, if the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, William and Kate, have a baby girl first, her claim to the crown will be pushed aside if and when a younger brother comes along. It's been that way for centuries. Fuddy daddy tradition should be overturned. The Queen had no brothers. Prince Charles was first born. William doesn't even have any sisters, so it really hasn't been an issue until now. Yeah. British Prime Minister yeah. David Cameron says in this day and age of equal rights, it's time to dump outdated notions of male superiority. He's not alone in thinking the law should be changed. It was made by male chauvinistic pigs in the years past. It's a long time we changed it all. And you're hearing that from a British American. Cameron says while he's at it, it's also time to lift the law banning British monarchs from marrying Roman Catholics. It goes back to the time of Henry VIII, who broke with Rome and feared Catholics as a threat to the crown. But the reforms are not just Cameron's call. He'll have to get the approval from all 16 British Commonwealth countries like Canada and Australia, who still have the British monarchy as their head of state. What does the royal family itself have to say about it? Not a lot. The Queen will go with what her advisers tell her. This is what she's always done. So it's really a matter for the heads of Commonwealth and the British government. And they will decide. The Queen will uh, go with what they, their decision is. Now, the Prime Minister says he wants this resolved before a baby is born to avoid an awkward situation. He says that William and Catherine will be part of the discussions. Chris? Well, that's good. Yeah, <laughs> I would hope so. This is Charlie <laughs> Daggett in London for us this morning. Charlie, thanks so much.